It's a beautiful summer day in the Buffalo capital of Canada. Wainwright was named after William Wainwright, a vice president of the Grand Trunk Pacific Railway. It's a town with a lot of history. This memorial clock tower was built in 1925 in memory of those who gave their lives in the First World War. The Wainwright Hotel was built in 1929. Today, 6,300 people call Wainwright home. In scenic Wallace Park, a tank reminds us that a Canadian Forces base is located in Wainwright. And the bees gathering nectar in the park remind us of a physician who's always as busy as a bee. It's 8.30 a.m. and Dr. Beverly Brills has already finished her morning rounds at the Wainwright Health Center. Dr. Brills has practiced in Wainwright since 1982. That's 38 years. In that time, she estimates that she has delivered three to 4,000 babies. I've always loved obstetrics because there's nothing more nicer than bringing a newborn baby into the world and everybody being so happy. Dr. Brills does it all, from baby deliveries to emergency to surgeries to family practice probably one of the widest scopes of practice of any rural Alberta physician there is. She's exceptionally easy to work with, probably one of the most caring people uh, on the face of the planet that I know. On most days there would be a nurse here to assist, but today Dr. Brills is doing everything herself. I think they were having a really busy day in Emerge and they had all their rooms with sicker people so it was just easier to go ahead and do it. Dr. Brills grew up in Didsbury. She has that get-her-done spirit of someone who grew up in a farming community just like Wainwright. If you're going to be busy, you might as well be busy, get it done. She has treated thousands in emergency, including Brian, who showed up here with serious heart issues one afternoon. She spent the whole afternoon, her, her other appointments were cancelled, and, and she spent time looking after this, this old farmer. And, and I've, I've always appreciated that. I like the variety. I like the fact that you never know from day to day what you're going to see or what you're going to do. And whether you're going to deal with small problems or something more serious, you, you don't know till people come in the door. Or... You okay? Yep. Just sit there for a minute. I'll come in. Yep. With this minor surgery wrapped up, it's time for a quick lunch break, then back to her family practice for the afternoon. Her clinic is just a block down from the Memorial Clock Tower. On the outside, a country look. Inside, it's like a rainbow exploded. Bold colors are everywhere. Bold, that's a good word to describe Dr. Brills. She has a commanding presence. She's very much in charge in any situation she's in. There's that at work Dr. Brills, and then there's also a very kind, nurturing, loving person that would just do anything for anybody in this community. Hello. How are you? Oh. I'm ready to be done. <laughs> yeah, good She's the best doctor in Wainwright that I have ever seen. She just makes the whole experience ten times better. Hey, the head way down there. Yeah. The advantage of a rural community is you get to know your patients very well, and they get to know you, and it's a much more hands-on, personal practice than it is in a big city when you don't necessarily see the person ever again. Dr. Brill's contributions to Wainwright go far beyond her clinic. She has belonged to many community organizations, including the Rotary Club. She participated in a big way in the Rotary's initiative to build this spray park. She's also been known to take calls at, at Rotary meetings and, and that we'll hear her saying, so how far apart are the contractions and, and, and whatnot? And then, then sometimes she could say, well, I'll be there soon. And sometimes she's just up and, and gone. No matter what community organization or club, she's there with her support or throws her support behind it. And uh, not only financially, when you go to these clubs and organizations and meetings I've had with her, she's uh, a very intelligent woman who has very intelligent input. She doesn't mind speaking her mind and she doesn't mind backing it up. She's down to business, yeah. Let's get this and get it in Wainwright and get it now. Bill is referring to Dr. Brill's latest quest, a new CT scanner for Wainwright Health Center, like this one in Lac La Biche. She estimates that 3,000 times a year, Wainwright patients are sent to either Camrose or Edmonton for a CT scan. I mean, I've sent people to the city just for a CT scan because I said, well, I don't know what's going on. There's something. At least if I did the CT scan here, I could say, okay, 
this is what's going on. The Local Health Foundation has already raised 1.5 million of its $2.2 million goal. She has been a huge financial uh, contributor to the Health Foundation. I guess I'm lucky. I have a job in which I can make a fair amount of money. I'm single, so I don't have a lot of children and other things that, that need it. So I think it's worthwhile just to give back and help other people. Congratulations to Dr. Beverly Brills, recipient of the 2020 RPAP Rhapsody Physician Award. It was quite an honor. I mean, they did say they were going to nominate me, but I thought, well, yeah, so there's lots of people in the province. So I was a little surprised. It, it is quite an honor to be that. I'm not kind of used to that sort of stuff, but that's all right. Bev, I'd just like to congratulate you on getting this award. There's nobody deserve, more deserving in the town of Wainwright, or probably the province. All the community of Wainwright, Irma, Chauvin, Edgerton, is really behind you and what you do for the community. I just want to thank you. Well, Bev, on behalf of all hey, your fellow Rotarians, congratulations. We very much appreciate all you do. Our community is a better community because you're part of it. All the best in the future. Uh, this award couldn't go to a more deserving person. We're super lucky to have you and to have you a part of our team, and we hope that you're with us for years and years to come.